Hey everybody, I am in New Mexico again, headed towards California. Got to go to Anaheim, which is down there in the L.A. area. So there'll be a lot of traffic, isn't that wonderful? Alright, we're doing a quick survey through the book of Acts. And we've made it all the way to Acts chapter 16. Now, Acts chapter 15 was the council at Jerusalem. Uh, they said that you don't get saved by the law, but you get saved by grace. Uh, Peter said that, and James confirmed it, and that was uh, that was their last word on the subject. And from Acts chapter 16 to 28, you will not even hear the, anything about Peter again. Peter's done. Uh, it's now the gospel is going uh, to the Jew first, as always, but to the Gentile also. So a quick review, Acts chapter 1, uh, the, the ascension of Christ, he gives them a commission, he said, uh, they said, well, are, are you going to restore the kingdom now? And he said, that's a very Jewish question, by the way. He said, no, uh, it's not for you to know the time when I'm going to restore the kingdom, uh, but uh, you, you'll you receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you and you'll be a witness unto me in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world. And the rest of the book of Acts is basically the disciples carrying out that commission. Uh, Acts chapter 7 uh, they, the Jewish nation as a nation uh, the Jewish leaders reject their Messiah again and kiss stone Stephen and Acts chapter 8 your first Gentile gets saved the Ethiopian eunuch Acts chapter 9 the apostle to the Gentiles gets saved uh, the apostle Paul Acts chapter 10 Peter goes to Cornelius and his house, uh, and they are definitely uh, Gentiles, uncircumcised Gentiles, and they get saved and speak in the Holy Ghost or speak in tongues as a sign to the Jews that the Holy Spirit has came to the Gentile also. And then Acts chapter uh, 11 and 12. Uh, we're seeing more Gentiles get saved. Uh, 13 and 14, Paul's first uh, missionary journey. Uh, then he goes back to Jerusalem, and they decide that you, it's not by the works of the law, but by grace you're saved. And now we are in chapter 16, and it's going to be all about Paul now. Uh, Paul and Silas and Bar uh, Barnabas and Timothy. We're going to get introduced to a guy named, uh, the Bible calls him Timotheus here, and that's Timothy, the one that Peter wrote, or I mean Paul wrote uh, the book uh, First and Second Timothy to. He's a young man, and it said they went to Derby and Lystra, and they found this disciple, uh, whose name was Timotheus. I, I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. Uh, and he was a child of a certain woman uh, who was a Jewish, and his father was a Greek. So he was a mixed race, which uh, so was Paul. But evidently Paul was circumcised because it says uh, that... Uh, Paul went forth and uh, took this kid and circumcised him. This is, this is strange to me because the whole deal in Acts chapter 15 is hey, you don't have to be circumcised. You don't have to follow the law. And right after that, he's gone. Oh yeah, they are starting their second missionary journey here. And right after that, he goes in and he finds this kid and he circumcises him. What in the world is going on here? 
Well, I don't know uh, for sure, but I can give my opinions, and uh, opinions are like armpits. Everybody's got two of them. And uh, my opinion is that Paul was going to go into the synagogues first, and he goes into the synagogues here first and preaches to the Jew. And to do that, if he was going to take Timothy everywhere he was going, he needed Timothy to be circumcised so they would allow him into the synagogue. Um, now we know that Titus, who was a, a full-blooded Greek, I think it's Galatians chapter 2, verse 3, uh, decided not to get circumcised. And it has nothing to do with salvation. It has nothing to do uh, with the boy's faith, I don't think. I think it's like when Paul said, I'm all thanks to all men. And he knew that he could... Uh, he could get this kid into the synagogue. You see, Timothy was... Uh, his mother was a Jew... His father was a uh, uh, Greek, so sorry, there was a cop there. I don't want him to see my camera. So He was, uh, but evidently he never got circumcised on the eighth day that is by the law. So I guess they're going to take him into the, my best guess is because of the, so he could get in the synagogues. Which brings up another question, this is just me, but did they actually check them to see if they were circumcised? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway... So, Timothy gets circumcised, and uh, and he's a young kid. We don't know exactly how old he is here, but I know in uh, the book of Timothy, Paul says, don't let them hate you because of your youth. So, he was even young when he became a, uh, a pastor uh, at it, the church of Ephesus. So... Timothy's gotten circumcised. And I, another thing that you're going to find in the chapter 16 is at the beginning you'll see, and they said, and they did. And then, uh, let's see, uh, I think about uh, verse 13, it says, start saying we. And evidently, Luke joins the band at this uh at this point, or at some, uh, some juncture, right in here. So, the issue of Timothy getting circumcised right after they just said, you don't have to be circumcised, uh, just amazes me. I don't understand it. My best guess is that it's so Paul could take him uh, anywhere he, he went, which he went to the... Uh, to the synagogue first. And then they were... Uh, they went through uh, these towns and they established churches and they gave the decree, I guess, for the what they decided in Jerusalem. They gave out... Uh, they must have sent out letters saying that now you're being saved by grace. Uh, and they established churches in the faith and increased the number daily. And now they, they went through a... Well, I'm going to mess up. Fraga and uh, the region of Galatia. Remember the book of Galatians. Uh... This is where he's establishing these churches. And this is something funny. They were forbidden uh, by the Holy Ghost to go into Asia. Um, 
I don't, uh, I don't know exactly know why, but, uh, he wouldn't let him go into Asia. Now, if you know anything about 21st century Christianity, they're, they're having great revivals in Asia now. Um, so I don't know why he kept them from doing that. They were praying about where they were going to go. And Paul got a vision to go to uh, into Macedonia. He heard a, in this vision a guy, a man told him, he said, come uh, into Macedonia and help us. And then you're going to get the wheeze. Uh, evidently, Luke joined the band at this uh, at this point, so they went right into Macedonia, uh, and they went to Philippi, the chief city. And uh, this is where the book of Philippi, uh, Philippians is written to to Philippi. Uh, so you see here all the churches being started where he's going to later write his epistles to. So. Uh, they're going into uh, Macedonia and they're preaching in the cities um, in Philippi and it says we were in the city abiding certain days so he's in uh, Philippi with Luke now Luke the doctor is with Paul uh, which is a uh, I, I hadn't seen that before in the book of Acts so wow I'm already 12 minutes in alright we're at verse uh, 13 let's see and on the Sabbath day we went out to the river by the riverside you remember them songs down by the riverside. Uh, and they spake to the women. And I guess uh, they're down by the river because, you know, the women weren't permitted uh, to say anything in the synagogues. That's the only thing I can guess. I want to stop there and we'll start back up in uh, verse 14. I don't want to have too long of a video. So... Uh, Paul, in chapter 16, Paul is starting his second mission, missionary journey, and he is going to uh, Galatia and uh, Macedonia, and he's preaching the gospel, he's starting churches, Timothy got circumcised, and Timothy's with him now, and the... Uh, Dr. Luke, the writer of this book, is with him now and will never leave his side. All right, folks, I've uh, gone on long enough for now. We'll get up, we'll take it up in uh, verse 14. I sure appreciate uh, you guys that are watching this. I know it's not an uh, in-depth study, but it'll uh, hopefully it'll give you a little bit of a survey on the book of Acts, the transitional book, the history book of the New Testament. Alright, brothers and sisters, God bless you. Read that Bible and uh, pray without ceasing. Amen. What a rough road.